All right, I just got a new blade, and I do have a lot of swords and blades, and I got this because everyone needs to be ready for a zombie attack. And let's take a look at the new blade I got. Uh, first of all, I want to show the label that they put on this blade, or on the box the blade came in as a description. And here's what they call it. It's a full tang, fixed blade, jungle machete, fantasy zombie hunting, sword spear point. So they give it a full name, as you can see. And the only thing they left out was uh, tactical. So let's take a look at the blade. All right, it comes in a nice Cordura sheath. And its overall length is 21 and a quarter inches. The blade length is 16 and a quarter inches, and the blade is 3 30 seconds thick. Handle is 5 inches, and the weight is about a pound. It's, it's got a really nice weight, and it's made of 440 steel from over there. Well, let's take a look at it. It's got a uh, Velcro closure, and one thing about this knife, it's got a really cool, it's got some really cool uh, pictures molded right into the well it's a pattern that's molded onto the handle you can see there are skulls there's skulls all over this thing parts of skulls so let's take it out and one thing about the sheath it does have a plastic liner it's got a nice plastic liner so we will cut the sheath up but it's a pretty decent sheath it's not great, but it's pretty decent for this price. And I think I said I paid less than $20 for it a couple days ago. And it's a uh, spear point, and it is pretty much razor sharp on one edge. And it, is sh and it is shaped to be sharpened on the other edge, but it has not been factory sharpened. So there's a good look at it. It's got a, uh, well, it's got a, small, it's got a small lanyard hole. Right about here, and I'm not sure what this is thing sticking out for, but take a look at the full tang. It's got a full tang going through it, so it's got some strength to it. And I'm going to be doing a cut test on this tomorrow. We'll see how it turns out with that. But yeah, it's got a nice grip. It feels pretty good. So I'll be doing a cut test on this new uh, zombie killer. And the only thing I want to compare it to, I want to compare it for size with two other blades I have. Uh, first one is the Gerber. This is the Gerber Gator Junior, which is a little bit shorter, probably about three inches shorter, about the same price. Do I recommend the Gerber Gator Junior? Not really. And the other one that I recommend, I really highly recommend, is the Condor Combat Machete with the Mystic Camo finish. This is an excellent sword for killing zombies. It's got a uh, it was razor sharp on both edges, halfway on the top edge and all the way on the bottom edge. But yeah, if you want to pay a little bit more for a good zombie sword. I would recommend the uh, Condor Combat Machete. But that's a first look at this one. And I'm going to do a test on it tomorrow, and we'll see how it turns out. Knuckle bump.